How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Gold Rush how-to. So in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to set up a water tank. So that water tank over there. So at the moment, you would have something similar to this. You've got a some sort of a pump, a diesel pump or electric pump. You've got one hose running into your actual plant and you've got another hose running down into the creek. And every time you turn this on, it'll pump water, turn it off, it stops pumping water. So that is a great system until summer comes and the water dries up. And then when winter comes, and if you want to mine through winter, well, then the water will freeze up. So the best thing to do, and the first thing you need to do, is get a water tank. So if we go over here, that's going to cost us $150,000 to build. And there you go. There's your beautiful, beautiful water tank. And you can see you start out with 10,000 liters in the tank, which is fantastic. So that is step number one, obviously. And this system will also work for mobile water tanks if you rather want to go that route. Um, it's a lot cheaper, but this is a lot more convenient. So the next thing you need to do is head over to the shop and buy some parts. So um, yeah, let's do that. All right at the shop and kind of stuck on the entrance very simply the only thing you're going to need at the shop is one of these big water hoses or the huge water hose as it's called so we're going to need one of those unless you want to position things a little bit differently you might need some extenders and some extra hoses but the way we're going to connect it up um, we're going to keep it as simple as possible we're only going to need one of those so that is that is that 212 dollars which is not bad at all and there we go there's our hose so remember to throw it on the back of the pickup and um yeah i'll see you guys back at the claim all righty so back at the claim first thing that we need to do is we need to disconnect the pump so we will roll this up and probably just leave it there and we will do the same with this one we will roll this up because we're gonna we're gonna sort of use the same area for this pipe uh, we're just gonna reroute it slightly so i'm actually not gonna roll up the entire pipe i just want to stretch it back a little bit and i want to take it around this side because it's a shorter route so you can see the end down in the water there so that is perfectly fine and there we go that should do it so we're gonna run it around here and up to somewhere around there for now beautiful right okay so um with that disconnected we are gonna hop in the truck and i need to position this in here to where we can hook up to that pump so it's a little bit tight where i put it in but um yep that's that's all fine right fantastic uh right gentle let's go forward a little bit try and maneuver this out of here without breaking anything or breaking too much all right so this pump you can basically position wherever it is comfortable for you um i kind of just like it somewhere somewhere around here is good should be absolutely fine righty disconnect that uh, we can actually move this away yeah. We'll just leave it there for now. Beautiful. Right. So we're going to grab the pipe and the one that we're just coiling and rerouting is going to go into the import. So that is still coming from the river, which is great. Then our out is going to go instead of into our mining system is going to go into the import on the tower. So that is great and then our third hose that goes into the system is going to go on any one of these three ports so i'm just going to stick it in there so what will happen now is if we start up this engine or this pump we should see that number increase which it is doing which is fantastic and now all you need to do is turn that valve and your system will be running water beautiful so that is that you do not need a pump uh, this thing because it's so high 
Um, it does give more than enough pressure to run your entire plant. So you don't need a second pump on that. And um, yeah, you can basically just run this pump to fill up your tank. And it takes a lot. I mean, it takes, what's that, a million liters? So, um, yeah, you should be good on water if you fill that baby up, and it'll take a while to do that. But that means that you can mine through summer even if the creek dries up. And also, if you really want to, you can mine through winter um, when it freezes over. So that should keep you going for a while. Again, you can use the same system on the mobile uh, water tanks. Uh, you can buy, buy multiples of those and fill them up. And keep them in storage, you just need to be a bit more frugal uh, with your water usage when using them because they're obviously a lot smaller. But that is that. That is how you run a water tower system um, on your mine. So yeah, I hope you guys found that helpful. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and I will see you all next time. <laughs>